So today I'm talking about a P0071 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0071 code? Well, it's an ambient air temperature sensor range performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a sensor that's monitoring the outside air or the ambient air temperature, and it's reporting this information back to the computer. These sensors are usually located up inside of the front grill. It's very common for them to be located there. Of course, depending on the vehicle, the year, the manufacturer, things like this, there can be differences, but it is very common for it to be located up inside the front grill. You know, one thing to keep in mind with these sensors, if you go to work on them, is that they need to be shielded from like direct sunlight or from very strong winds, or else it could throw the temperature readings off. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0071 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor has just fell, that that ambient air temperature sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. You can't test these sensors if you want to. These sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. So as the temperature changes, the resistance is going to change. And the computer can read this and it can do its calculations and know what the outside temperature is. So you can't test these. If you have a multimeter, the first test you could do is you could check and be sure that it's not open. Basically check it for resistance using ohms and just be sure you're getting some kind of reading. You can also apply like heat to it with like a hot hair dryer or something like that and see if the resistance changes. If you can look up the rated specifications for that thermistor for that vehicle, then that would tell you right away whether or not it's failed or not because they'll have a rated resistance on what they're supposed to be at a set temperature. So you can't test these sensors if you want to, but the first thing that could cause this is a bad ambient air temperature sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's any kind of issue with that wiring, like an open or a short, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So again, if you have a multimeter, you can't test this. You will need to get schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside of the wiring. And basically you test the wires and be sure that there's no open or short or anything like this. You can also examine the wires and be sure that there doesn't look like there's any damage to them or anything like this and that everything's plugged in good because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer, that there's some kind of issue going on with like the engine control module or the powertrain control module. Although this isn't too common, this is fairly rare. Usually when you get a P0071 code, it's going to be a bad ambient air temperature sensor or the wiring going to it. But it is possible that the computer's having some kind of issue and that there's some kind of problem going on. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0071 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.